I acknowledge that there have been over 150 people apply for this six week transformation. I am one of the lucky 10 who have been picked. I can confirm that there are no reasons for me not to attend every session agreed over the next six weeks. I'm making a promise to myself, the family members who rely on me, and those who didn't get an opportunity to take part in this challenge. I will do all that is asked of me. And that I won't fail them. This episode, we continue following a group of 10 lucky participants through the six week Elite Body Transformation course. Week two starts with introducing a calorie deficit diet that is tracked by each individual. How will the group find their new eating regime alongside their mandatory three sessions a week? Start week two. Start week two, yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. What have you struggled? I'm, uh, Yeah? What's the biggest thing? I know it's no excuse, but... What's that? We need to know what you're struggling with so we can help. Yeah. I've been keeping up with, uh, keeping track of my calories. Like, uh, uh, I guess today I was, uh, Celebrating a parent and mum's birthday, I'm still 200 underneath my calories. Oh, okay. so, yeah. Perfect, perfect. I'll make you, you understand me. Yeah. Great. Say so you can't outrun a bad diet. This is great. This helps your energy, this helps your lifestyle, this helps you look better once you do lose weight or when you start losing weight, yeah. But ultimately, energy balance equation. And remember, like when it comes to your diet, always enjoy it, okay? But it's not a theme park. Be realistic about our diet, we need to track it. Tracking our calories is our sat nav to the goal, which is weight loss. Weight loss doesn't go like that. I know. But you so, know what you think? I've done so well this week, I've been, you know, really worked hard. Well, I had to hit my targets with my food, like food and drink. I thought I must have lost at least half a stone. <laughs> Sweet, okay, guys, we've done absolutely awesome. I'm blown away. Thank well done, guys. Thank you. See ya. Week two, now I've dropped out. We don't have that, wouldn't they? Hey. Out of 10 people by week two, someone's missed the session. Always. Really impressed with the effort that's, that's going in from these guys. They've, they've, they have really, really given it their all, which means they actually want this. The biggest thing people are struggling with, which we see all the time, is the diet. We don't get too many people to focus on their diet in week one. We tell them just to pretty much maintain their calories uh, and we ask them to to just focus on what they're eating, make the right decisions, try and break the norm a bit, try and break the habit. Week two, you know, when they're, they've already been training for at least one week, we then push the food. And now it is all gonna be about calories in versus calories out. We can run until the cows come home, but I think Trev said it during that session, you can't outrun a poor diet, which you really can't. You, unless you are an Olympic athlete, you physically cannot outrun that amount of calories that you're taking in. Focus on everyday food, you need to focus on prepping at the weekend, making the right decisions, and knowing what your go-to is as well, if there is ever a problem. Some people try to engage in the group and they kind of haven't had a lot back. There's a few key players that are really, really chatting. We need people that are there for each other because the camaraderie is what's gonna get people through this. When people can't do the meal prep mentally, someone else will say, well, I'll tell you what, try this, try this, try this. I've been doing it, I can come and help you. Or, you know, when they start working together as a team, it's unstoppable. The private Facebook group is gaining momentum. People sharing their meal plans, tracked steps, calories, and motivational videos. I need a few bits for dinner. Uh, now, normally, I would go back home, jump in the car, and drive to Morrison's or Tesco. So instead, I'm walk, gonna walk from the station to the Tesco on Lee Broadway. Um, so that's a nice little walk. Um, get my steps in, get my knees up. Let's go. Could have parked closer, but I didn't. There's the gym. Look at those steps, guys. Let's kick this up. Boot camp time. The commitment of the group to the morning workouts continues to be good. People are starting to motivate each other and cement strong friendships. What's been going on? Uh, 
Well, I was rubbish on Monday. I, I, um, I woke up ill Monday morning. Like, like, my glands were all up, and I was like, oh, okay. So I still came, but I was yeah, literally yeah. laid up all day. And I was socialising Friday and Saturday night as well. So I think it was a bit of a shock to my system, the exercise. So socialising as in... Going out drinking, yeah. There you go, there you go. Yeah. Let's not give it a different label. <laughs> Cool. And did we track the calories of the drip of the drink? No. Yeah, look, drunk. we are we tell people you obviously you can booze and lose weight. Mm. You can. Calories in versus calories out. If you're not tracking them, mm. you, this one will. You're doing well with the workouts. Mm. You push yourself in the workouts yeah. really well. Yeah, I love it. Um Apart from Monday. Yeah, it's Monday's so hard. We're gonna see some screenshots, calorie screenshots. Yeah, yeah, Good. sure. I actually sure. want a boozy one. I want to move on. <laughs> oh no, you don't. I do. I do. I do. I do. Because I want, I, I want everyone to do it. Okay. Because this only works with honesty. Just had a uh, a chat with one of the guys downstairs, and they're being brutally honest with themselves, and they're coming clean about a lot of stuff. They're not doing things they're meant to be doing. They're not tracking some some bits and bobs, but they've they've told me why. This whole process is about people learning that there aren't fads that work, there aren't silly tricks to this, this is just basic human biology. The only thing that does work is tracking your calories, eating less of them to lose weight, eating more of them to gain weight, than the calorie output that you put out as a person. And these guys are now starting to get that. Week two, these guys are starting to get it. It's taken me months for people to get this in the past. This being a gift, and not something you've won. So having no sense of entitlement means that people actually start listening. Everyone continues to use the Facebook group to share their stories. It's going all right. I've been having issues with my uh, ankles and one of my knees. Hopefully it'll get better once I go down more weight. Uh, I've been sticking to uh, diet pretty well, chicken, veg. I want to add some more fish to my diet. So food's been okay yesterday and today, even though I'm craving, you know, comfort because I'm feeling sorry for myself. Been doing a little bit better with my water as well, which needs to be increased. And I've been tracking Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to try and keep that up. Got up this morning and the car was icy um, and it was cold. And I actually had a dream last night that I didn't come to boot camp, but I did. I made it. So working out first thing in the morning seems to be quite good for me um, and I feel more motivated. Um, so I think I might join and do the boot camp sessions because I think you also get Saturday so I can squeeze in four a week. The motivation I'm getting from the people on the programme is brilliant. I'm making some friends there, it's really nice. Um, and also the staff are absolutely amazing um, it's really nice that the staff all tend to seem to get involved um, at ABC gym um, everybody seems to take a session so you get the benefit of different instructors um, they're really pushing you and wanting you to do well um, and that's really encouraging I, I find that really nice because you know that you, they've got your best interests at heart um, and they really want you to succeed um, and you don't want to let them down or yourself down which is which I think is a really positive thing guys I'm blown away by the level of commitment and the level, just the amount we're sharing. It's brilliant, because it's transparent and everyone is now moving together, which is great. By you guys putting videos up and putting content in, you're putting your own motivational content into a secret group that propels each other's motivation. I want struggles now, because we've got the first week out of the way, we're at the end of week two, so like motivation has been like right up. Week three to five is where it starts slowing down, motivation wise. If you're struggling mentally, physically, tired, I want it documented, I want it chucked in the group. Five minutes in a lunch break just to check the group, and if someone's going for a bit of a crap time, so I'd say, what, well, mate, why not try this? That's helped me in the past. Because the more we share this experience with each other, the more likely we are to make this long-lasting change, as opposed to just a six-week program, okay? Mm -hmm. I just woke up, looked at my phone, and I was like, for fuck's sake, honestly, what? what? But it's not all good news. And that's what was so Jerry has had to sit down with Ellen who has been unable to attend her required three sessions a week. I was just pissed off about yeah. going away for the weekend. That's what I mean. I, was, I hit the ground running on Friday morning. I just woke up like half an hour too late. Yeah. The one thing we can't do is go against the grain. We can't go against what we agreed in day one. Because then my integrity in the group is going to get dropped. Sure. Yeah, it's crap. I know it's not your fault. 
Um, and that's why with the actual boot camp, yeah. we give you so many options. You know, we've got two mornings, an evening, a Saturday, and it's all it's all part of that. Okay, so started of week three, we have thinned the group by one. Unfortunately, um, Ellen couldn't make one of the sessions last week, and I have to be true to my word and stick to the rules. Uh, so she only managed to make two sessions. Unfortunately, we had to cut her from the uh, from the group. However, she has decided to um, to carry on the journey outside of our small group and just join up to the uh, to the facility anyway, where she gets access to all the stuff that she had for free beforehand uh, because she saw the value in it, which is great. I hope she does continue on it. This time of year, it is so hard to get motivated. You know, we're right in the heart of December. Christmas is around the corner and these guys are absolutely smashing their lifestyle. A couple of people came up to me and said, you know what, I was out on a work do, or I was meeting up on, with friends on a Christmas do. Um, I totally understood that it made more sense to choose booze or food, which great, fantastic. You didn't go full tilt into overeating, still managed to um, enjoy the rest of the weekend and just made the right choices. Um, some other little things that, you know, even I learned, is if you post up, I'm going out to have a couple of beers tonight, like one of the guys in the group did. Other people will take that fully literally and think, well, that means I can, because we turn into that childlike state. Well, if he's doing it, I want to do it. Deep down, we all are these kids that don't really want to have to be doing the stuff we're doing. We just do it because we're meant to be doing it. And that's so relevant when it comes to the goals and lifestyle within, within not only this group, with everyone. Yeah, when it comes to our peers. And that peer pressure has such a huge impact. And other people have now um, you know, made me aware that there's other things that they've either done or not done because they've seen that other people have been doing it, but negatively. So it works both ways. So you know, we're gonna have to thin that kind of behavior out. But apart from that, really happy. People are getting results and people are doing the work. That's all I can ask for. Uh, let's see how the rest of the week goes. Biggest worry at the moment now for week one, we don't really go after people about their food diaries and stuff. Now we need to because everyone is now thinking that the exercise is the hard part. And that's what we're gonna have to have a chat with these guys about. We're at midpoint on week three, so we're very close to halfway. What are you struggling with? I've calculated between Monday just gone the ninth and Boxing Day, I have 13 either dinner or drinks events. Trying to sort of be in that mindset that I know it's Christmas, but there is kind of a, a bigger goal here. The magic so, about Christmas is 24 hours. Exactly. The people have been celebrating since mid November. Yeah, so it's just focusing on that. So well, man? I mean, for me, yeah, I, I mean, I, like Rachel, I work at insurance yeah. in the city. December's our worst time of year for mm -hmm. both, like, in terms of work stress and client, mm -hmm. clients wanting to do stuff. Very often people want to go out drinking at lunch, want to go out drinking after work, clients want to go out drinking all the time. The last time I went to lunch with a client that didn't drink, I made up an excuse saying I was on antibiotics. Yeah. Couldn't drink and he called me a bender for the entire afternoon. So yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was fun. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's what I'm dealing with in my end. I deal with a lot of people in the city and yeah, it's yeah. just, that it's kind toxic. of drinking culture <laughs> is very toxic. Yeah. yeah so. How long have you been working in the city for? Uh, going on seven years now. How long are you going to be working in the city for? Um, Probably for, probably for the rest of it, I guess. How long is that? Well, the rest of your life? Well, either, either until I retire or die, whichever comes quicker. I am 31 now, retirement age is what, like, pro pro I've probably got another like 30, 30, years. 30 years, I'd say. Yeah. Guys, you're doing really well. We're halfway point. I want to see those calories. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to come up with, you guys are going to come up with some solutions for mm -hmm. okay? All right. I've been going for my lunches that way. It's kind of boring in a sense, it's just, Couscous and chicken on with but no flavour. I did. I do have um like uh was that some sort of barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you enjoying that for a quick? Because I don't get much time at work for mm -hmm. lunches. It's quick and easy sort of. No, thing. but are you enjoying it? When you're hungry, do you look forward to it? If you don't, we need to do something about that. Give me a solution. Um, start start experimenting a little bit. See if what mm -hmm. I can start enjoying my food. 
Sweet man, it's okay. I want to see you experimenting then. I want to um, make you really good in the group, putting great stuff in there. Next week, the group pass the halfway mark. They'll face up to their struggles with the support of Jerry, his team, and their peers. If you're struggling with weight loss, subscribe to our channel or click below to join our free online slimming group.